treats. And I love giving treats to my horses, but I don't like giving them treats full of sugar. So I found an option for a sugar-free horse treat. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com where I share different ideas with you for you to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. And today I'm going to share a very, very simple recipe with you for you to make horse treats for your horses. And the best part about this recipe is there's no molasses, there's no sugar added whatsoever. So if your horse has Cushing's disease or is sensitive to sugars, we're gonna make some horse treats without any sugar added. Making sugar-free horse treats is really simple and I would be willing to bet you probably already have everything that you need at home right now so you can make these. If not, you can find them at Walmart or your local grocery store. The first thing you're going to need is ground flaxseed. You will also need cinnamon and you will need unsweetened applesauce. And you can check the packaging on your applesauce and just to be sure that it doesn't have any sugar and it will tell you that it has apples, water, and possibly ascorbic acid for color. But I don't know if you can see that. So this is, this is Walmart version of unsweetened applesauce. It's good until December 19th, 2018. So that'll last a long time. We're not gonna use all of this. We're only gonna use about a half a cup. So this will last a long time. Those are your ingredients. So these are your ingredients. Cinnamon, applesauce, ground flaxseed. You'll need a bowl, some water, and measuring cups. So in addition to your ingredients, you will need water, hot water, just to get it out of the tap, a mixing bowl, a one cup measuring cup, half a cup measuring cup, and some measuring spoons. So to get started, you're going to take one pound, which is 16 ounces of ground flaxseed, and put it in the bowl. Oh, and I bought this at Walmart and I think it was $4.68. Bye bye flaxseed. Then you're gonna add two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. And I also bought this at Walmart and it was 98 cents. So two tablespoons of cinnamon. If it's a little bit over, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It smells good. These are gonna, these are really gonna smell really good. So two tablespoons of cinnamon. Then you're just going to blend the flaxseed and the cinnamon together. And flaxseed is good for your horse's coat. It'll make them shiny. It has a lot of omega-3 oils in it. So I think that's what they're called. All right, so that's all mixed together. So now we're gonna add a half a cup of applesauce. Ooh, a little bit more than a half a cup. Just a little. And then you're gonna add the water. And I like to start with one cup of water and see what my consistency is like, and then add the second cup of water, or a little bit at a time. It's still... Still needs water. So then depending on what consistency you want it, you can determine if you need more water or not. And that's a pretty good consistency. Because you can kind of form it or do whatever you want with it. 
because if you add too much water, it's gonna get really sticky and really hard to work with. So now we're all done mixing our ingredients for our sugar-free horse treats. So now we're going to bake them. And the easiest way to do this is to get some parchment paper and spread it out on a cookie sheet. It, this makes it easier so you can just cut the dough that you've made and then you can just kind of pull them apart when they're all done. It's super easy. If we can get the parchment paper to stay where I want it to stay. 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 So there's our horse treat cookie mix mush. Well, it's gonna be. And the thinner you push this out, the crunchier the cookies will be. And see, it's a little bit sticky. And then you're just gonna take a knife and cut into your dough. And you can make these as big or as small as you want. It's up to you. So now our horse treats are all ready to be put into the oven. So our oven is heated up to 350 degrees. So now we're gonna put these yummy smelling horse treats in to bake. And then if you want chewy horse treats, you'll wanna set your timer for 60 minutes. If you want crunchier horse treats, you'll set your timer for 75 minutes. My ponies like chewy treats, so we're going for an hour, 60 minutes. So now my horse treats are in the oven and they are baking. So that means I have to find something to do for an hour while I'm waiting for my horse treats to get done. Maybe it's time to work on a list of new videos to make, but I'm sure I can find something to do for an hour. Well, it's been an hour plus 30 minutes because I wanted to let the horse treats completely cool so I can show you how easily they break up. This is the horse treats. And since we put them on parchment paper, we can just move the parchment paper over and break them into little bite-sized treats for the horses. And they just break really easy. But see, they break up really easily. So then I can just put them either in a horse tree container or in a bag. And I think I'm going to keep these in a bag because they're chewier, so they're softer. And I will keep them in the refrigerator so they don't get moldy. So then I can just put them in a baggie. And now I have a whole bunch of horse treats for my horses. So now we have to see if they like the horse treats. They good? Come here, Ethan. Oh boy. I think Frisbee likes them. I think that's a winner. Pretty cool for sugar-free horse treats. That's all I got. That's all I got.
Thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes on Saturdays. Again, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride. Thank you.